welcome to this video where I show you how I clip my citrus nails. Here's Casanova and here's my model of today. I'm gonna show you how I clip his nails. He's a really good model for nails. Alright, here you are. You're a good model. If you wanna see how I groom or trim the paw pads and the paws, uh, the hair around the paws, uh, I will leave a link for that video and the information bar below and you can check it out. Okay. Here comes the video. Hey sweetie. Here's Casanova lying on the sofa ready to get his nails clipped. Um, when I clip my dog's nails, I will always sit on the floor because that's it's the most stable. Uh, um, but because of the camera, uh, he's lying on the sofa, ready to have his, na his nail clips. The nail clipper that I use is this one. And uh, I want to open it up. You can see it better. Like this ready to clip. On the back side here, on the nail clipper, you can see a stop. Uh, like this one, that metal thing there, that is the stop. Um, and when you clip the nails, it's, you're supposed, when you use this one, you're supposed to use that stop, or you can use it, and that stop will measure how much nail to clip off. But, in my opinion, I think it's way too much of the nail to clip off. It's there's always a risk that you're gonna clip in the blood veins in the nail. So I always pull the stop to the side like this, so I can see what I'm doing when I'm when the stop is blocking. I can't see what I'm doing. So to the side with that one. Uh, the dog's uh, nails. If the dog is black pigmented, as Casanova is, um, are black. So it can be difficult to see, well, you can't, see the blood vein inside. Uh, there's a blood vein inside each nail, and you don't want to uh, clip or cut into that blood vein. There's a lot of blood in that vein, and it's going to hurt, and it will hurt if you clip it by accident. Um, so, in order to uh, not to clip too much. You look at each nail. Uh, can I do it, Kisma? Look at each nail inside it here. Um, you can see the edge, and a little uh, lower in the nail, you can see some black, grayish uh, stuff. That's dirt. That's not the blood vein. That's dirt. Then comes behind that dirt comes a empty space. And then behind the empty space comes the blood vein. So if you imagine my fingers being one dark nail, and then you have uh, the dirt, you have the edges of the nail, and inside here, not here, but inside here, is the dirt. And you take it from the side, here is, and from here to here, so to speak, is the empty space. And then comes the blood veins, like this, all the way. So when you clip a nail, you clip into the dirt. You maybe clip, cut or clip all the dirt away, so you can see that white or black empty space, uh, but you can't see the blood vein. When you cl when you clip a nail, that blood vein uh, will get a shock, and that shock makes the blood vein redraw. It takes about a week for the blood vein to redraw inside the nail. So if you clip or cut uh, your dog's nail each 8 to 10 days, you can keep your dog's nail short. Now if your dog's nail have gone too long, you can either take it to the vet, but you might as well do it yourself. Do as I say, clip, cut the nails each 8 to 10 days. Uh, I do like I'm gonna show you in a minute. Um, 
then the blood vein will withdraw and then uh, you can clip and clip and clip and clip and clip the nails um, each week or each t 8 to 10 days and then you will soon see that you can get the nail short. Even if you let the, uh, the vet clip your nails, he or she can't clip more than you can because of the blood vein. So you might as well learn it yourself. So, I'm taking the stub uh, of the clipper to the side and then I take a look, before I clip, I take a look at each nail. Because um, uh, um, no one, all dogs have four nails on the front leg and a fifth here. Um, Casanova has lost one of his, that one, the first one he has lost, uh, broken. Um, so it takes about an, a new nail, about nine, eight to nine months to grow out. So I'm not going to clip that nail because there isn't any nail to clip. The next one, I take a good look in the nail and I can see the edges around the nail and a little lower in the nail I can see the dirt. When you clip the nail, you clip on a BS angle. Um, so if you uh, take my nail, I keep a long nail, yeah? you clip like this. You don't go in and clip like this. You clip in a BS angle, like this. So uh, when the, the dog is walking, like this, you clip, oh, uh, it has to fit with that. So. You clip on a BS angle. Okay, let's make it for the camera here. Doot. And then on a BS. Not like this. But like this. Okay. So we're going to clip. I hold, hold on to his paw and the nail. And take a little hair to the side so I can see what I'm doing. And then in that bias angle, bias angle, I'm gonna clip. So. Next one, the hair away. Yeah, yeah, I guess not. And take a good look on the nail. And clip. And the next one. Yes, 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 yes. So, take a good look at the nail, kick inside the nail, seeing the dirt, seeing the edges of each nail, and then in a BS angle. So, and the fifth nail here on the side is the same thing. This nail is really short, so it's difficult to see maybe for the camera, but it's there. So I grab a hold of, on the nail. So it doesn't move. Do it up. I'm going to turn you a little one. So, and the other. This pole has also five, four nails, and the fifth one on the side. So we're going to cut it. Look at each nail. And I clip each nail on the bias, on the bias. I like to say bias, but it's bias. So. 
I'm Danish, so English is not my mother tongue. So, but we do it anyway in English. Can't see for the hair. It's not that long with nails, so it's difficult to for the cleaver to catch it. So yes, and then the back paws, or the paw, the, the nails on the back paws. It's the very same. There's four nails on each paw. Four nails on each paw. So you take a good look at each nail and see the edges of the nail, looking at the dirt a little lower in the nail. Take the clipper, lift up to the side and grab a hole uh, on the nail and cut. The next one. So. Last one on this paw. So. And the last paw here. Then again, take a good look on the nails. So you get to learn, you get to know each nail actually over time. So again, look at the edges edges of the nail, look into the nail, see the dirt on all of the nails, grab your clipper as you can see it doesn't hurt him couldn't care less actually whether I clip his nail or not Here are the nails, or what I cut off. As you can see, it's not much. Um, that is all what I cut off. So you can see just a little. So when you clip your dog's nail, just uh, clip a little off each time. Eight to ten days between, so then the uh, the blood vein in the nail can withdraw. Also, I wanted to tell you that. Not all dogs need to have their nail clips clipped. Uh, some dogs need to have them all clipped. Some dogs only need to have one or two or half of them clipped. Some of them don't need to have them clipped at all beside the fifth nail. Uh, uh, beside the fifth nail on the side of the leg. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, really. um, yeah I'm going to click. Yeah, peace in it, peace in it, peace in it. It's not fair. Um, and the reason that is is because some dogs, when they walk on the paws, if, if they walk in in front of the paws or in the front part of the paws, they wear their nails on the surface that they're walking on. Some dogs walk on the back of the paws and therefore don't wear their nails. And some dogs are sort of in between, so they wear some nails and they wear 
and they don't wear some other nails, if that makes sense. So either they walk like this or walk like this, and this one <laughs> may not need so much of nail clipping. But take a look at your dog, get to know his or her nail, nails, and get to know them and clip the nails each eight to ten day between days between and you will in a, in a in a short a few days or few months you will capture it and and be on top of your dog's nails in no in no time okay okay kiss in way okay hi smoga hi what's it hi sit hi sit I sit down. Can I keep holding? Keep holding. Come. Keep holding. Come. Nini. Nee, Pussy. Yeah. Keep holding. Come. Keep holding. Sit down. Can I keep holding? Can I not keep holding? Can I not keep holding? Come. Can I not? Nay. Come. Keep holding. Come. Keep holding. Keep holding. Come. Can I say? Can I say? He's not going to shake his paw right now, but he's really good at it. He can shake paw and he can give high five. Kiss in the way. Hi, Skip. Hi. Come. Back on the seat. Back on the seat. Oh, sit. Sit. Asa, keep holding. Come. Keep holding. Keep holding. Yeah, come, sir. Come. Keep holding. Come. Do you keep holding? Couldn't you tell us? Can you shake paw? Come. Keep holding. Er det var hovedet? Kom, kig på det. Kom, kig på det. Yeah! Tænk det! <laughs> Her er Julius paw, and, uh, some nails. And I'm gonna focus on that one. Uh, because the nail is white, or almost white, you can see through the nail almost and if you see the nail from the side I'm gonna try to keep the camera in focus so bear with me um, you can see that it's somewhat red uh, uh, oops hmm gonna use that finger. <laughs> oh, it's not so easy this. Um, from here and here you can see it's somewhat red and that's the black vein inside the nail. If I turn his paw and his nail, oops, if I, you will let me turn you can see um, the nail inside. Um, you can see the edge, the edge around the nail, and then you can see something black or grayish um, inside the nail. That's not blood or the blood vein. That's dirt, and you can clip the dirt or some of the dirt off when you clip the nails. So I'm going to turn him to the side again, I'll turn his nail to the side again. Um, and you can see from the side, uh, you can see the dirt uh, at the tip of the nail and then comes some white space that is empty. And then comes there, comes the blood vein, oh there starts the blood vein. So. So if I should clip this nail, I will clip just the edge of the nail, just some of the black, grayish dirt that is inside of the nail, not more than that. Now I'm going to go to his other paw and show you another nail that I've clipped. I'm going to try to focus. And here you can see the nail from the side, you can see the red, that is the blood vein, 
Oh, that's a good picture, this one. There's a blood vein, and you can see the blood vein stops. I'm going to move my finger if I can. And the blood vein stop here. And then comes the empty space. And then the edge of the nail. So I just clipped off the dirt. You can see inside the nail here. Got to focus. Hmm. There it is. There. There you can see. You can see a little hole in the middle. Um, and then you can see the nail. Just the real nail um, that the nail is made of. And then comes the blood vein behind all that inside. So this is how you clip it. This is how a nail look. How it's spilled. And going back to the other again. Thank you, Julius. That one. Keep focus. Oh, it's not focusing, focusing for me right now. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna try to click that on, and then show you how it looks afterwards. So now I have clipped the very same nail. Yeah. I'm gonna focus. There it is. You can see from the side the blood vein and a little bit empty white space. There. And then I'm gonna turn it and focus. Please, camera. Hmm. Probably still you lot. <coughs> Trying to focus here. Just have to find a spot. There it is. Uh, you lose. Hmm. There. Almost. There you can see inside. Yes, there it is. You can see inside the. You lose like still. There you can see the nail inside. And you lose like still. You lose. Lie still. And from the side. And the uh, hmm. that is okay. And and here you can see better what I clipped off his nail. It's just as little you can you can compare it to my nail. How little it is that I actually clip off his nail. Um that part goes there. And you can see here a little bit of the dirt and a little bit of the the clean nail if you wanna if you wanna call it that. And then comes the blood vein. So clip just a little bit of the each nail and you can't go wrong. Hmm. Here is a dog nail. You see the nail right there. Inside the nail is the blood vein, this is the paw, and the black here is the paw pads, or, or one paw pad. Um, well, this nail is normal, it needs to be clipped, but it's normal. And the way you, and the angle you want to cut it is here, in this angle. You don't want to cut it like this. Do you want to cut it? like this. Um, at the tip here is the dirt that I've talked about then comes the empty space or just pure nail and the blood vein. So you can clip it here or go all the way up to here and still be safe. Here you can see where you can clip you still have the blood vein inside. Uh, here is the dirt and the empty space or the pure nail. 
and the paw pads and the coat of the dog. Here you can see this is a nail that's gone, uh, it's grown too uh, long, way too long. It should be like this up here. So the rest of this is too long. Obviously, you can't cut where, where I've put the rectal comb because you will be cutting or clipping into the blood vein. So you can only clip or cut the, the tip of the nail like this and again you will cut it in an angle and when you clip or cut the nail the blood vein inside the nail gets a shock and starts to withdraw. Here you can see it is the dirt in the front in the at the end of the tip of the nail and some empty space, just pure na uh, pure nail, and the blood vein. So when you clip, make a first cut of uh, the, the this nail that's too long, uh, the blood vein gets a shock and withdraws. So it's like it's withdraw from here to there, and the nail is then here. And you will continue doing this until it is in a normal length. Here you can see a normal nail just after it has been cut and you, you can see the ankle and you can see there's no dirt. You Maybe you have cut, out, cough, cut off all the dirt or you have leave some behind but it will only be a little bit in the front on the tip of the nail. Then comes the empty space and the blood vein that is the drawing. So that is how you clip a nail and how it's um, it looks inside a nail. It can be difficult to see on a black nail. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye. Casanova and I hope you like this video. We hope it will help you in mastering uh, clipping the nail on the nails on your dog is not that difficult as you can see and just do it and clip a little bit off each time and you will get to know your dog's nails in a short uh, very fast so because no one says hi hi with his new short nail well they're not new but they're short wee 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 don't forget to subscribe to our channel for some new videos. If you have any requests, uh, please leave a comment below. And don't, for, uh, don't forget to like, thumbs up this video if you like it. So, yeah. Thank you for watching and take care. Bye. 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 I'm gonna play now. I'm gonna play. I don't want to be a model more. <laughs> Bye, you guys.